Don't take the first 10 minutes off. Make the most of the opportunity to start off this series strong. Keep that out. Big hit right there. Keika got bodied, and here comes Polds. Polds gets poked. He got a bit of a shot off the secondary buffered shot. Good. Along the half wall goes down low. That's Guan activating from the point. Going to work the perimeter now. Looking for an opening in this Caps defense. Shot from the point. They score! Deflected in front. Beautiful play coming out. On the side of Scary Hours, I believe that was Blur getting the deflection in front. And just like that, it's how quick it can happen. Scary Hours up 1-0. Off the post and in, as you see on the replay there. Such a tough break. I mentioned both of these goalies very cognizant of the traffic in front. Uh, of course, we see Sponge, X-Ray, uh, as ones in ways to try to kind of neutralize those opportunities like that. And, uh, you know, ultimately, again, just trying to control the puck, keep it in front of you. But when it's deflected like that off the post and in, it doesn't matter what ability you have at that point. That's a really tough break. Blur gets it up to sit full now. Siffle having trouble with Grimer, but good support there. Pass out front in vain, deep in his crease, but he makes the save right there. Coming out from Blur and K-Cut, and Scary Hours will have possession once again. Quarter of the way through this third period. Nice pass up to Sitful. Sitful with some space, tries the short side. He scores! Backhanded off the goalie, off the post, and then in. You saw Vane kind of holding it right there as best he could. The puck still trickled in. And that doubles up the lead for Scary Hours. That's such a tough break for Vane, but you did see right at the end, the movement to his right opened it up just a little bit. Couldn't quite hold the post. Difficult for any goaltender to kind of remain stationary in that situation. But what a goal there for Scary Hours. Again, doubling up on the lead. Things are looking very, very good for them right now. Yeah, I think Scary Hours want to spend as much time in the Ozone as possible. Good activation by K-Cut. He gets poked. Can't get that puck away. And Geimer has it now for Caps Gaming. Geimer just with a head of steam down the left wing side. Gains the line. Pass over to Pogues. He scores. Great job by Geimer from defense to offense. Feeding Pogues. And Pogues puts that one home. Very similar to the last goal, although, Sin, I have to be honest, I didn't see much movement from Bar down in goal. Looks like he held his position, probably snuck through five hole while he was dropping down. Huge, huge goal for Polk, staying at a goal per game pace here in the postseason. But, yeah, very, very tough break there for scary hours, but just the opening the Caps gaming needed. Geimer trying to go to Cad, taken away by Blur, but the puck is still there, back in the neutral zone now. Desi will have to reset. Time ticking away fast if your cap's gaming. Desi feeding Geimer. He gets that one sticked away. Guan now, sauce off the boards. And Sifful has it. Sifful looking to split the D on the backhand. He scores! Quick move by Sifful to put his foot on the gas, splitting the defense and putting that one by Vane. You don't want to say it's over until it's actually over, but that should be the dagger, and what a dagger it is. That is a heartbreaker for the Caps gaming defense, but what a present Sipful is. You never know when he's going to be able to generate those turnovers. Gets it done there and makes the most of that opportunity, just as you would suspect. 3-1 late in the third period. In possession, about a minute left, and here they go. Odd man rush. Scary Joey over to Sipful, trying to go backhand. Taken away by Vane. One minute left. This is a real time last minute, so time. Nice move by Bushi. Doesn't get the follow up on the deke, though. Couldn't get possession. Shot on and a big save by Bar Down Beauty. Slow reaction or slow release, excuse me, and it doesn't find the back of the net. Desi, what a save by Bar Down Beauty. Sliding over in front again. They can't put it home. And Guan will rifle it down. A late flurry there from Caps Gaming. Huge saves coming out from Bar Down Beauty and good defense to clear that one out. Scary Hours take game number one. Puck drop here, game number two between Scary Hours and Caps Gaming. Scary Hours entering the zone quite early. Into their own end, Cad giving chase. Now it's behind the net, that's a dangerous position. Pox up front and a good save by Bar Down Beauty. Polgs now gains the line, shot, trying to give that over to Cad for the one-time look. They couldn't quite connect, it was a good back check. Blur has it now over to Scary Joey, he shoots, he scores! Quick counter-strike 
from Scary Hours and Scary Joey pots one home on Vane, one nothing. Worst case scenario for Caps Gaming. Joey gets his first of the series, sneaks that one through. That is another really tough goal to go in past one of these goaltenders, man. He was right there, didn't give the space. I didn't notice any movement. Looked to have already been butterfly, but you just never know. Looking for the shot at it, poked away. Desi looking for the pass, Cad shot off the back of the net. Desi with the shot, low, and Boosh couldn't get the shot off in time. The rebound kicked right out to him. Leaves the puck behind, and Scary Hours once again entering the offensive zone. Scary Joey has it down low, sent all the way around. K-Cut activates from the point. Trying to send in front, he scores! A pinball off some skates and through the pads of Vane. 2 nothing now for Scary Hours. Seem to clip the post a little bit too. You see the reverse around in K-Cut. I mean, a lucky bounce certainly, but again, you know, this is what happens when Scary Hours get that bit of extra zone time. We've seen it down that way a lot. That is another incredibly tough break. Maybe a little bit to surprise to see tra uh, Caps Gaming still trapping as heavily as they are. Shot in and good save by Vane. Geimer has to slow up as Caps Gaming just Cannot figure out how to gain this line. Beautiful intercept by K-Cut, pass up the blur. Over to Scary Joey, he scores on the backhand! And the defense of Scary Hours feeding the offense. Three nothing here late in the third period. I mean, this is a clinic just in terms of all across the ice, just giving no space to the opposition. Incredibly active sticks, picture perfect positioning, forcing these turnovers. And finally, Joey, he's had a couple of close calls as this game has gone on, particularly on the backhand. But yeah, he just does not miss those in tight opportunities like that. And things uh, go from bad to essentially impossible for Caps Gaming here. Still having trouble with as they keep activating more and more guys to try to get some offense. Sitful has it in now. Pass over. Big save from Vane. Boer has it back. And that will just about do it as they clear the zone here. And nice guy Guan doesn't even want to try for a goal. 3 nothing here on the side of Scary Hours and they jump out to a 2-0 series lead. Be a tough task indeed, but here we go. Game 3, Caps Gaming. Not quite a must win, but as close to it as you're going to see. They're getting in here early with a shot on. His pass gets taken away and... A bit of a wake-up call here for Scary Hours. They need to get going. But what a save by Vane! Huge stop right there off the shot by Sitful. Did work its way through to Vane, but it popped back out. Perhaps Gaming having to slow it down once again. Desi up to Boosh. Boosh trying to power his way through. Over to Cat. They score! There it is. The first goal of the game finally in favor of Caps Gaming. Boosh, the power move to the inside, kicked over to Cad, and he puts it home. Finally is right, Sid, their first lead of the series, if I am not mistaken. They've been looking for Cad all series long, and he finally finds the back of the net on that one tee. And finally, they might be able to push Scary Hours out of their comfort zone. Crucial here to survive this next three minutes with this lead intact, though. Okay, cut now, just with a head of steam all the way through, trying to pass it to the middle. Blur has a shot on another opportunity, and Vane robs him again. What a game he is having. Big time to get the credit with Twin, but see what happens. Sitful almost skates his way through. Last minute poke to keep that one out. 23 seconds up, they shoot, they score! Off the rebound, Sitful bats it in, and a late tying goal for Scary Hours. You have to feel for Vane after that one, but you know, you look back at that opportunity down the other way a few moments ago where Caps Gaming could have made it 2 nothing and not being able to do so, you kind of feared for them because you know just how much offensive pressure was going to be put on and eventually they do find the back of the net, right place, right time, tremendous positioning and another goal for Sitful here in this series, none bigger than that. Geimer now trying to escape the line. Shot on, taken away, but they maintain possession. Good four check. Blur, interesting pass right there. Goes straight to Boost. Shot on, they score! 
exactly what they needed boost to Polms, and we have ourselves a series. Just what the doctor ordered for Caps Gaming. First win, avoid that 3 0 deficit. And I mean, sitting this overtime started, and then they really started to kind of put the pressure on. Scary hours, and you mentioned it was kind of an awkward pass there. Just not really able to kind of get possession. The Caps did a great job of you know, kind of, you know, really hitting them with their own game plan as that overtime continued on. And it worked out perfectly. That was the first time in this series that Scary Hours wasn't consistently dictating the pace and the style of play throughout the majority of the game. And for now, we focus on the task at hand and a tremendous opportunity for Caps Gaming to really be able to forget about those first two games. Goalie on the ice for Caps Gaming. Gymer leading the way up. He's bumped, holds the zone though. Great bit of control. Boosh with the puck now. Shot on by Pokes, rebound, they score! No power play needed as Boosh puts Caps Gaming up. one nothing here in the second. We talked about the rebounds and how few there typically are. You gotta make them pay for when there is a juicy rebound and what a job there to collapse towards goal and put that one home. Gigantic goal. Four caps gaming as they take the lead yet again. Save was made by Vane. K-Cut has it right back. Can't get that one in. It looked like he tried to sauce it off the boards and collect it, but it was taken away. Blur pressures Cad and knocks it back to the neutral zone. Caps still have possession. Pogues gains the line here. What a shot by Cad! And they score! Beautiful job by Pogues to get around the defense and kick that one for the high slot 1T. Caps Gaming with a two goal lead. That's what they've been looking for and they get it yet again. Cad, that one timer, pays off one more time as we march on and for the first time in this series, a multi-goal lead for Caps Gaming. Scary hours on notice at this point. Could very well be looking at a tied series here. They have to figure things out. Momentum is not on their side right now. And center statistician, uh, statistician passing it along. Scary hours, one goal in the last 110 minutes of play entering the third period. Okay, cut coming in. What a play right there to pass to Sitful. He buries it on the short side. And the caster's curse. And this time it helps out, but alive and well, scary hours. You can pay it forward. Uh, uh, his Venmo is, yeah. <laughs> can you uh, can you put up the side by side real quick? You just uh, you just put up the side by side. I am sorry. <laughs> Let's continue on with game number four. I apologize. I'll be quiet. But the pass up the boards taken away by Cad. Cad trying to get his feet going. He does have a nice poke. Shot on and a save by Bardown Beauty. Wait. Bar down is on the ice here. Five seconds remaining. Out front shot on. What a save by Vane. And it's cleared out by Caps Gaming. A massive save in the final seconds. They hold on to win and tie this series up at two games apiece. We'll have to see what happens at puck drop here. But you got to think the onus is on scary hours a little bit here. They got to try to bounce back and get this series back in their control. Face off one by Boosh. Simply isn't there, both these teams. Clogging the blue line, clogging the center of the ice in their defensive zones. Nice poke by Blur, but he can't turn it around. Geimer maintains possession. Pass to Polks. He has some space. Polks back in. Scores! Just like that, as quick as can be. Polks finds some space. One on one with Bar Down Beauty, and he tucks it home. He has made the most of every opportunity like that he's gotten in this series. And again, scoring on the backhand on that left side, able to make things happen. A huge goal for the captain as, again, first goal in favor of Caps Gaming. And all of a sudden now, if you're scary hours, you went from not all that long ago, feeling good, confident, 2 nothing series lead, Right now, the odds aren't necessarily in your favor to be the team looking to close out the series in game six. One now with speed to Blur. Blur over. What a save by Vane. K-Cut jumped in, got the one-time chance, and Vane absolutely stoned him. Still has the puck. 
Pad behind the net, trying to send that around. In trouble now, but Pogues helps him, keeping things alive. Geimer at the point. Geimer takes the shot, deflection, scores! Boosh, high in the zone, gets a stick on it. It goes by bar down, Beauty and Caps Gaming double up their lead. What do you say to that at this point? Caps Gaming unreal. Of course, we had seen the deflection goals earlier in favor of scary hours and indeed the stick on fire for the caps up to nothing and cruising at this point in time i mean again vain performing very very well all the momentum in favor of the caps our number one seed in scary hours very much in trouble at this stage of game number five Another rush coming out on the side of Scaring Hours. Blurs has it taken away. Cad with some space. Cad has the speed. One on one. Back in. Flying poke check takes it away. But it goes wide. And Scary Hours have it back in the zone. Guan steps up. Blur couldn't get the shot away. Sinful shoots. He scores. Exactly what they needed at exactly the right time. About four minutes remaining in the third. Scary Hours have their first. Sipful's effectiveness just continues. I mean, right place, right time. If he gets space to shoot, it is likely going in, and there's not much Vane can do about it. And Caps take it away. Desi behind the net to his defensive partner. Geimer, nice thread of the needle up to Polgs. Polgs, beautiful pass over to Cad, looking to go wide. Pass in front, they score! Beautiful play all the way across from their own end to the offensive end. Cad to boost, and the Caps retake their two-goal lead. A gigantic goal for Boosh at this stage. Just a little bit too much space allowed by Scary Hours. And again, of course, the Caps will take advantage. Both teams making the others pay, uh, you know, for any mistake, no matter how big or small. And ultimately now, a minute to go, Scary Hours back down by two. It's the side of the net, big hit behind, and I think you're seeing some frustration being vented by Scary Hours from two games up to now down three games to two. Caps Gaming, with the response of a lifetime, are one win away from the NACL Finals. It's the last game that Scary Hours are guaranteed. Caps Gaming... Uh, breaking out the dark uniforms, maybe, for a Scary Hours funeral. In his last few games, he's had Scary Joey's number on the draws. Jump in chase. Cad will get it. Kicks it back up top to Desi. Desi creeps in. Desi still with the puck. Cad with the shot. They score! Caps Gaming once again jumping out to a 1-0 lead, but hold up. It's in the first period. I was gonna say, we have a first period goal for the first time this series. It took all of six games. Well, another huge goal for Cad in this one and talk about the momentum being on their side. That seems to be continuing. Cad sitting there in the back door. Blur with it now. Drop back to Scary Joey. Big blocker saved by Vane. Shot on another save by Vane. Here we have all the momentum here. Another offensive zone draw. Boosh has been very good on the draws as this has gone on. Tie up here. They will get possession. Pogues goes back to Geimer. Geimer now skates through. Switch with offense and deflects and scores! Boosh once again near the hash marks. Gets the deflection. Goes into the top of the net. And Cabs Gaming have a 2-0 lead. Unreal. The Caps get it done again with another deflection. We saw that from Boosh a lot throughout the playoffs. We continue to see it. He's so good at posting up in front, getting those deflection goals. None bigger than that, arguably, as again the Caps up by two. And what is the response from Scary Hours? Can only imagine kind of what the tone of conversation is in that group call, but they almost had a breakthrough there on that last occasion. But needless to say, things are going quite well. They do force a turnover down low, coming in, and he had a moving shot, scores! Scary Joey getting the pass from Sitful right there, and Scary Hours cut the deficit in half off a nice four check. I guess alluding to it was more than enough, but a huge goal there, and again, pucks in dirty areas. 
has worked out tremendously well, at least it did in the early stages of the series, and really the goals they've gotten since. Big goal for the captain there in Scary Joey. And again, you cannot rule out one of these teams until they're truly out of it, and an interesting moment there for Vane. Pass up to Boosh now, quick counterattack. That's a nice poke right there. I believe that was Scary Joey's stick knocking that aside. Boosh had it down low. It was taken away. K-cut pass up to Sitful. Sitful trying to get around Geimer. He will. Has the passing lane. Short side scores! Two quick ones for Scary Hours, and we are all tied up. What a beautiful play by Sitful. Momentum is one heck of a thing, Mr. For the win, and Sipful strikes again. He's been their most fruitful player offensively, and it's what they needed, just that little bit of space on the short side, and Sipful makes it happen, just that little bit of speed, and suddenly we are tied, still with half a game to go here in game number six. In the corner, kicks it back to K-Cut. Holds giving Chase a bit, but he will drop back. And here comes Scary Hours. Pass over to Sitful. Sitful now trying to just drive to the Middle East. Scores! What a play by Sitful. Would not be denied. Just powered his way to the net. Got the puck back. Put it home. Three unanswered for Scary Hours. Sin, my friend, you might have a game seven to call. Maybe <laughs> tone it down a bit. You won't be able to talk tomorrow. It's a good thing you're not on the East Italy Caps. <laughs> my goodness, what a turnaround for Scary Hours. Three unanswered goals here in the second period. Two top teams going head-to-head, -head, and it's been everything that we would hope and expect from teams like this as Vane is able to make that save and cover that puck. But 2-10 to go. Geimer takes it on the point. Looking for his opportunities. Skating around, trying to find an angle. Down low to Pokes, what a play! And Boosh buries it! Two quick passes, and Caps Gaming have tied it all up. Another twist to the tail here in game six. The power play tally, and they needed it. Boosh again, continuing to cause havoc in the slot, gets another goal. We're tied at three, and the pressure back on Scary Hours, knowing that their life here in this NACL season is on the line. Scary Hours on the counter attack here. Pogues takes that away smartly. Now they may have a two on one. Pogues to Cat, Cat, loose puck, Pogues, still loose, but taken away by Guan. Guan with the puck now. Geimer has it now for Caps Gaming. Up to Polgs, he'll gain the line, gets that stick out to Boosh, two shots on! Beautiful saves by Bardown Beauty to keep this game alive. Cad will get it along the half wall, he's bodied. Boosh maintains possession, up top to Desi, creeps in. One-timer, what a save by Bardown Beauty! A game saver at this stage! Blur has the puck now, his shot was blocked in front. Back up top to Guan. Scary hours. Scary Joey with the shot saved by Vane. Cad gets bodied. Still alive. Scary Joey shoots. He scores! Give an honorary assist to Bardown Beauty. This series will continue. Scary hours with the triple overtime win. But to do that, they need to get past one another. So here we go. This is it. And it went to triple overtime last time out. Let's see what happens next. Game seven is underway. Scary Joey gets it over to Blur. Blur with a head of steam. All kinds of speed. Over. What a save by Vane off the one-time opportunity. These two goalies have just been lights out through this entire series. Going around. Cad couldn't get to it. Desi back to Cad. Cad over to Polks. The shot. What a save by Pardown Beauty. It wasn't a forehand, but that was still a massive attempt right there and a huge scoring chance. Over to Pogues. They can't get the shot. He can't pull the trigger, though. In scary hours, back in possession. Dump and chase coming up from Guan. I like that. Didn't use the flip dump. Shot on from this. Did they score? Deflected. Who else would it be? It's Blur in front. Scary hours will be headed to the NACL finals. Just like that, Game 7 victory!